hi everyone so today i would be showing you the process on how to make this cardboard ice cream counter material for preschoolers i hope you enjoy this video to do this you would need a pencil a sharpie marker a ruler a hot glue gun paint on a paintbrush clothes pins velcro a scrapbook and cardboard to begin the width of this cardboard is five and a half inches and now in the middle we are measuring three and a half inches upwards vertically and then we are taking one and a half inches on both ends Now I am just taking my Sharpie marker to outline a cup to just make an outline of where I would like my ice cream to be. Now I am drawing all what I have outlined before. Now I am using the cup to outline three more circles. We are now cutting the cardboard, cutting out the outline. Next I am about to paint the front and the back with orange and of course the cone part with brown. Now I am about to cut the circles for the numbers. These circles are 2.5 cm each. I am now painting the circles white so that the child may identify the numbers clearly. As you can see these clothespins are very old, I found them in my backyard. You don't necessarily have to paint yours but I did because of how bad they were looking. Now it's time to cut our ice cream scoops. This is just a page from the scrapbook. I color coordinated my clothespins with the color ice cream scoops that I wanted. Now I'm about to glue the ice cream scoop or the scrapbook paper to the clothespin. Next I'm just writing the numbers on the circle. Next I'm cutting the velcro. I'm cutting half inch into rectangles. I'm cutting three pieces. For the cone pass I will be using the more fluffy side and for the numbers I will be using the more textured side. Finally you can add little details to make your cardboard look more real like an actual ice cream.
this is optional this is the final piece this material is more appropriate for three plus students because four plus may be more advanced in numbers this material would help with two main domains of development which are cognitive and fine motor skills students would be challenge to think of how many scopes go on and also by pressing the clothespin they would develop their finger muscles the educator can also use this as dramatic play pretending to sell ice cream and also you can associate this with color and flavor for example pink is for strawberry yellow is for vanilla this is how this learning material is used so you take the little circle with your number you stick it on onto the cone it cannot fall off and whatever number you stick you have to coordinate it with the number of scoops that you're putting on the ice cream so if you have one scoop on the cone it will be one scoop if you have two it will be two scoops of ice cream you have to put on the cone For example, if number 4 was on the cone instead of number 2, you would have to put 4 scoops of ice cream instead. And if there was number 3 where number 2 is, you would only be putting 3 scoops on the ice cream. And that's how this learning material works. I think it is fun and a great way to develop fine motor skills. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, bye.